guys, it's Ty again. Um, I've got a, something I haven't had in a while, and as you can see, my dad's here once again. Um, we've got a sword, another sword box. It's just one, so it's going to be a short one. Um, this particular box is heavier than the other ones. I don't know if you watched the last one I did by myself. It was kind of a, a crappy box. You returned that one too, didn't you? Uh, I'm going to. I'm still yeah. going to receipt back from the Yeah, room. he's yeah. returning that one. It wasn't worth the $50 he paid for it. So hopefully we do better luck this time. It's probably got a case or something. I hope so. I'll hear it and I'll show him the box real quick. Like the, we said, the last box was a lot smaller. This one, as you can see, is it's way size. bigger. It's a full size sword. It's not that little. Uh, Calvary. Sorry, we're back. I had to edit that part out. All we right. Have to see the ceiling. Yeah. Anyways, uh, Dad's gonna go ahead and open this. See what we got. Move it around. You want me to stand it up or what? Yeah, you can. It doesn't matter. Big box. Big box. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't. The main thing is seeing the sword, and we can change angles for that. Da, 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 da. <laughs> okay, put that down. Nobody wants to cut themselves. Well, it looks like a box inside of a box. Yeah, usually. Yeah. That's a good sign. Unless they start doing the Russian thing. Doll. Oh. Box within a box. Oh, it's yeah, it's here. here, it's just like it's got a pack real tight. Might be two boxes. Who knows? Maybe they're trying to make up for that one. I don't want to rip that. Here, like here. Pulling up on the end. Do you want me? Do you want me to switch it around and just let it fall out? Yeah. Right. All right, we're gonna switch this around. Good. Try to let it fall out. There it goes. There it goes. Right. Got it. Yeah. Check. See if there's another one in there. No, I think that's it. It's a Shenhua. Oh, we've got those before. No, no more. Just that one. Is, is there paper or anything? Looks like packing paper. Okay, go ahead and pull it out or else we won't be able to put anything back in there. Yeah. I'm going to set that on the side because we're going to open up the box that's actually got the sword in it. Oh, Chinese! Oh, last Chinese wool paper. Yeah, as long as we got last time when we did the very first sword box, we had one like this, and this was, if I remember right, it was a very, very nice sword. So hopefully, Oops, this all one, these are supposed to be high did carbon. Did they see it? The oh. box. Yes, yeah, that dragon uh, wallpaper, whatever you want to call it. Handle. And that is, that is a nice box. Yeah, I like them. Uh, no, they're not heavy duty wood, but they're actually made to be lightweight. Oh, hey, we got a surprise box in here. See, by surprise box, I mean whatever that is. Hopefully, that's a little smaller one. It's awfully light for a. Uh... Well, let me uh, grab the knife. Go ahead and set that down. We'll open this up real quick. Okay. All right, the big sword is on hold for one sec. We're going to open the little box just to get it out of the way. Oh, it's a mount. It's a mount. Oh, it's a sword stand. Yeah. It's a sword it's, stand, basically. It's got two parts. There's it's got, one. It's got and, three parts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's three parts. Pieces. It's like the little legs, and you can set your sword on it. Yeah. That's cool. You haven't Wait, had... No, that's the first time you've seen it. So, so it yeah. goes like that, flat, and this comes on there, and you can see by this yeah. edge and this edge, it'll... It'll mount up, it. and that piece will uh, That's a keep it down. Oh, I grab that for me. Yeah. Napoleon doesn't attack you. Yeah. I know he's a tack cat. Fall <laughs> back in there until we put it to work. Yeah, that's the uh, first box that he actually got a knife right or there. sword display on. Yeah. So that's cool. I good. thought it was going to be an, a little knife or something. Well, with a box like that, I was thinking maybe a Tanto or something. Yeah. But, uh, All right. Okay, we'll put that out of the way. Back to the real deal. Or the big deal. 
box on top of box, it's not working. No. But anyway, there's the sword. He always put them in those nice covers. And the unveiling. Oh, I always like to look at these. And nice the, leather ray skin, probably. Yeah, that's oh, look at the, black and gold. Can you see the super heater? Oh. Black. Definitely a katana. It's got a curve to it, but you can see the hilt or well, the guard. Some Chinese swords do have the guard. Curves. Yeah. Classified really as katana, but and curve I don't know. If you can see it, but it's definitely got a curve to it. All right, let's pull her out. See what we got. Ooh, looks like brown Damascus. Maybe. Yeah, it's a a brown Damascus blade. That's not that's not coloring. That's actually the way it looks. No, it's just got the grease on it that they put on swords to keep them from rusting and all that stuff. But uh, it says 1060 high carbon steel. Um, and the reason I got the it's not a high carbon blade, like a cheap one. And it definitely feels it feels weighted well, so I'm guessing it's uh, full tape. I'm pretty sure it is, though. As you can see, that's pretty cool. So far, you can always put it in, like in the background. You can have a, a door or something that's got should have a straight edge to it. And compare, because I've been fooled. Sometimes I look at them, I think they've got a little bit of curve to it. Like when I first looked at this one, I thought it did, but you put it up against a straight edge, and it's fine. Straight as can be. Which of course you need that to sort. Alright, I think he got his money's worth this time. Yeah, this, this is, is really this cool. is well balanced. Uh, well, we showed you the top of the box, it is a Shenhua. They seem to have a lot of Shenhua. Yeah, Shenhua brand. That's just brand that I, if I understand it right, that they if you are guys uh, didn't see it, by the way. Actually made in China by actual if you ever watch Forge and Fire or something like that, that's how they make it. Of course, the basic metal just pressed. You could get, you could get here in the states and become your own swordsmith. But I don't know if you can see that or not. It says Shinwa right there. And then the other side, it says the high carbon steel. Yeah, over there. I'm sure you're not going to be able to see that, but it's a well balanced sword. I kind of like this one. I like the brown blade. It's different. Yeah, it's cool. Get blood on it, you don't know, reckon it, uh, you can't see it as well. well. You always, after you get blood on something, you take the, the coat of your enemy and wipe the blood off. <laughs> Everybody knows that. The coat see? of your enemy, not your coat. Their pants, whatever's left, yeah. kind of clean up, you know, you get blood off. <laughs> then, if you really have to get it blood off, I wouldn't recommend this, but they say bleach works real good for, that's only if you really got something to worry about. Legally. Yeah, legally. legally. If you weren't in war. I'll make that. It's kind of pointed. You wouldn't want to get your hand on it. Yeah. I do like the guard. Yeah. yeah. That's really cool. Hmm. All right. Of course, if you're in this Japanese style, you have your thumb right up here. Guide the blade. Can you see that? Probably not. Yeah, you can sort of see it. You can see it. That's a real good fit. Usually they're uh, and if it's ever too tight, you take this thumb here that you're holding it with, or you know, you're gonna get it. And you just push up like that. That's all right. Nice. I'll uh that's when I'm yes. When I'm done here, um, I'll post on the bottom like I always do, um, about the value of the sword. I'm guessing this one's worth more than fifty dollars just because it's a really different and cool looking. Well, you know the brand type, you know what it looks like. Yeah. Remember this, because that's kind of unusual. Yeah. Uh, but I'll look that up, and I'll be obvious why I'm talking. It'll come up and tell you how much it's worth versus how much he paid for it, which was 50 bucks. Sword of the Month Club. Yeah. True sword, right? Yes. Yeah. All right, we're going to go ahead and pack this back up. Um... I'm not going to bore you with us putting it back together. 
Um, besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed it as always. If you keep liking them, I'll keep making them. Later.